Hello guys, it's Patro TV, and I'm gonna cover today HPool and talk about how it works, benefits, downsides, where to download, how to set up, and how much do I earn with 10 terabytes. So, first of all, before we begin, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed. Thank you very much for the support. I'm trying to get the 1,000 subscribers go. We are very close to it. I'm gonna keep trying to bring out new content. Uh, for you guys and keep it interesting so if you could if you're new to the channel please subscribe hit the thumbs up and i hope you enjoy the content if you don't enjoy it just uh, leave a comment uh, what you would like me to improve on um, i'm always looking forward to some constructive feedback i do not edit videos because i don't have the time to edit videos so that's the only thing that you have to guys keep in mind uh, I'm doing so my university coursework, but I plan to do a program for you guys on here. Uh, you know, when you transfer from one SSD to the second SSD, which stores the plots, the big problem is that you have to transfer oil manually. Okay. So what I'm going to do, create a program that actually transfers those plots for you. And you don't even have to do it manually. Okay, once the plot is here, finished, it will transfer to one of the drives. So you can actually select the drive and it will keep updating, checking if there's available space on the drive and transfer out to the other drive. The big benefit of this is that once you transfer from one SSD to the second SSD, the Chia client can start another plotting. So that's pretty much it that's the big benefit you save around uh 15 20 even 25 minutes out of it so that's the good thing about ssd to ssd so let's uh stick to the h pool uh for now and we're going to talk about it a bit more so how does it work and what is h pool so h pool is a um, um, unofficial chia uh mining pool and the way it works is that you activate your plots using your key uh, to mine uh, on HPOL. So HPOL is using your keys to mine and then you get your cut. Whereas on Chia client, you depend on luck. So let's say if you have two months, you could be very unlucky and wait for six months and then you get your Chia really depends on the luck so you could get it sooner you could get it later so i swift switch to hpool i i'm currently risking it all so if you don't want to risk it don't do it but the benefit is that you get your chia regardless of the luck because the pool has a big uh, plot lots of plots and it has a big power number so network size uh, contribution and uh, it finds blocks much faster so the downside you have to expose your keys that's the key which is the seed all of those words 24 words this is a temporary wallet i just set up for demonstration so don't worry about that one it's gonna get deleted anyway so you have to expose that you could create a second wallet or storing your actual chia this one will be for example the main wallet for mining the one for storing chia so if you're worried about exposing your wallet so that's the downside of it uh the another downside there's no tutorials about it so i've kind of fiddled with it and i managed to find a good way of uh, working um, with it so what i'm going to just show you is uh, have to go to hpool hpool uh let me just open up brave that would be the easiest okay so hpool com it's a hpool.com you can't google it because if you google it it won't come up so you go on here i'm already logged in so basically what you do you go on here because it's going to be in chinese first you click english and you register once you register okay have to go to your personal center okay you go to your personal center you have to uh, go to your 
security i believe yes and you have to set up uh sms verification so you have to verify your phone number that's for adding removing some uh, plot settings and uh, accessing your account from different ip address so this is required for you to do uh, once we we do that you go to configuration so in configuration this is the pool address so this is what it mines to and this is pool public key so this is what i have bounded this is currently hidden so you need to bound your wallet once you're registered okay just for let's focus on registration you have registered you have activated your phone number what do you do next you go to the download center okay you download chia miner and chia plotter so you hold you yeah. so open these two up the chia plotter you download this one okay maybe here windows that's just uh page pool sorry i just gonna nail that just for you guys save over there and then we h pool minor chia so we put this in downloads as well same folder and it's all downloaded okay go navigate to here we extract it so it's gonna be a zip folder you right click it and extract files here for you might look different so you right click it you go to downloads and you right click extract here so it will create these three folders uh, you want you're interested in the windows one so before we begin we need to get the uh, security code so what you do you go on here on your chia client grab these seeds okay go on the chia plotter uh, allow it to input the keys okay and sign in it'll show your fingerprint okay your farm republic address and stuff like that and you grab that signature so this is the signature for your that's assigned to your plots and go back to the h pool okay to the personal center and that would be configuration so you enter the bind signature data and once we add it i'm not gonna add it but that's you add it here uh, the reason why i don't want to add it because it's gonna require me to do phone verification to remove it to unbind it but i don't have my phone on me at the moment so i'm not gonna do it so you just put it here and you bind it and that's how it's going to look Okay. The next step, we want to set up the miner. So once you've got it, we will we'll allow it to use its plots. I mean your plots. So we go to the Chia uh, um, under the H pool miner, and I use the GUI one first, and then you can use the regular one. Use the GUI one. Set it up. And. And you can set it to like a minor. I already have a minor. You need the API key, which is on here in your configuration tab. This is the API key that's going to mine to your wallet. Okay, this is refresh. How long? Can't even. This is in Chinese. So I don't even know what it says. Let me just turn and translate. Uh, can I get a translate on here? No, because my phone doesn't, this phone doesn't have internet on it. Because I've had two phones, but anyway, let's keep it out of the video. This is, I think, refresh of the plots. So you keep, let's say, 15. We will refresh the plots every 15 minutes. Okay. And you've got the API, miner 2, that's connected to the server, is refreshing, and you select the drive. Let's say you select that drive. It will load up all of the plots from that from this okay but we don't want to do that because i'm currently mining it actually let's just show you as an example okay as an example i hasn't loaded them 
because it's using the yeah so this will this number will increase and it will show you that it's being used i'll give you an example i have it on uh, reddit i think uh get this out of the way first let me reddit I had to co do some. I wanted to hide my conversation, but I don't have anything to hide. So I did say that I have issues with it, and then I tried again, and it's working. So here, that's how it's going to look like. Okay, I was just a bit impatient. That was the problem. Okay, you can see the number of uh, plots. I'm um, 44, four terabytes. And once we do that, okay, it's all set up. Let's go back to the folder and bring up the client. Okay, I close the client. I close the client and we go to the config file. If you go to the config file, double click it. Okay, we might not show the notepad here. So when you double click it, it will ask you what program do you want to open it in. You want to open it in notepad so open with and you're gonna more apps and you just find notepad always use this app for, to open the yaml files and you're gonna see that the api key has been assigned name and that's pretty much it that's what we want the paths everything adds up everything is correct that's what we want and then i just use the console okay the console is this what i'm currently having open okay the console is the application. You can see that it's started mining. And the reason why I use the console because I like to see feedback. So if you want to see the feedback that it gives you, like the jobs that are assigned to your uh, miner, this is what you can do. Just use the console because the graphical user interface, the GUI, which just shows you on here, it doesn't give you any feedback that there's any jobs that's doing anything. Which I personally don't like. I mean, it's good, it's nice and simple, but I don't like the fact that you don't see the progression. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So that's how to set up, where to download and stuff like that. Just make sure you have the, the things that you need. Register. Do factor authentication. You get the signature from Chia Plotter, which we download. Okay. You assign the Chia Plotter to the configuration in the HPool. Okay. Once that's done, you open up the miner. You open up the GUI. Okay. You select the places where you have your plots which are finished. And you select the set the name and the API, and you can do period fifteen that allows. I don't know. I, that's what the translation last time showed me. So uh, scan time every fifteen minutes. Anyway, so that's what you do. You press on here, on so on. That's it. It starts running. And I'm gonna show you how much I have m managed to earn. So have a look. I've earned that much here. Not doesn't show much, but let's have a look at comparison. So we add this all up. That's roughly uh, from here, from the 10 p.m. all the way to midnight. Okay, that's two hours work. Okay, let's the calculator and all all. And I follow the numbers. Okay, so let's do this. Plus, all of the stuff that I have earned. Did not add this up. I did.
going on? My hard drive is beeping. Okay, we divide that by two. Because that's for past two hours. Times that by 24. Times that by 30. Uh, that doesn't add up. Wait, let's have a look again. So let's say three hours. Because this one is just finished. Doesn't add up properly. I do it this way. Calculator. So divide by three hours. Times that by 24 hours. And times that by 30 days. I get roughly one chia every 30 days or 10 terabytes of plots. Okay, so that's what I'm currently running. You can see my terabyte online. You have to just be patient uh, for these plots. You will see that they're assigned here. Once they show on here as uh, online plots, they will start mining. These are all plots that are online with the signature that you have given. And you can see the miner, called the miner. And that's pretty much, the operation is gonna be always like this, so don't be worried about it. And that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it, but just remember that this is risky. So only use it if you're confident I don't know, I don't say confident that you're not worried about losing your chia or wasting your time on it because I haven't personally tested it. I'm putting all of my bets on it, so hopefully it works out. I've seen people withdrawing from it, so I'm having high hopes that uh, it's not something that I would suggest for you guys. I know there is a lot of uh, videos that. I mean, lots of people that look for HPool tutorial, and this is one of them. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and leave a like, and leave a subscribe. See you next time.